ready to explore dinosaur footprints, navigate ancient Inca caves, and swim in crystal clear natural pools. Join me as I uncover the hidden gems of Toro Toro that most tourists never see. Stick around because you won't want to miss this. Hi guys, it's Nancy Trekker here, back for another adventure. Today, I'm in the Toro Toro National Park in Bolivia. One of Bolivia's hidden gems, from ancient history beneath our feet to jaw-dropping natural wonders. This place has it all, but first, let's talk logistics. To get here, I started in Cochabamba, Bolivia. If you're in the city, it's fairly straightforward to arrange transport. I recommend catching a colectivo, which will take about two and a half to three hours, depending on the conditions of the roads, which were newly paved in 2022. The name Toro Toro comes originally from the Quechua term Thuru Thuru Pampa, and it means extensive plain of mud. Once you arrive, the first thing you'll need to do is pay your park entrance fee at the tourist information office in the northwest corner of town on Cae del Olvido. It's 100 bolivianos and it is valid for four days. Uh, they do ask if you have your passport and I didn't, so no problema. I have my ticket. Let's go. Vamos. Then head next door to the Transport Service and Community Guides Building. A guide is required to explore the park. These local guides know the park inside and out, plus it supports the local community. My guide, Pedro, was amazing, super knowledgeable, and passionate about sharing the history of the area. The tours are based on groups of six, so it's best to join others to keep costs down. First stop, Dinosaur Footprints. It's surreal to walk where dinosaurs once roamed millions of years ago. These footprints are incredibly well preserved, and our guide explains how they were discovered and what kind of dinosaurs likely made them. In the park, you'll find footprints of different sizes, some belonging to massive plant-eating ankylosaurus and others to carnivorous theropods. Seeing their footprints preserved in the rock really makes you feel like you've stepped back in time. Next, we ventured into the caves. This part is definitely for the adventurous. The caves are ancient, formed over thousands of years, and exploring them feels like stepping into a whole new world. Be ready to crawl, squeeze through tight spaces, and navigate some tricky terrain. But once you're inside, the rock formations are out of this world. It's very small. Okay. It's tiny. Ah, okay. So. After the caves, we made our way to these breathtaking natural pools. The water is so clear and refreshing. It's a perfect way to cool off after hiking and exploring all day. These pools are hidden gems within the park, and there's nothing like swimming in crystal clear water that feels so pure, surrounded by nothing but nature.
Dos bolivianos. Ah. Gracias. Ah, uh, su nombre. Alejandra. Alejandra. Uh -huh. Ah, Alejandra. Alejandra. <laughs> Mucho gusto, Alejandra. <laughs> Para vos. Nancy. 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 Doña Nancy. Doña Nancy. Ah, oh, Doña Nancy. No, no Doña Nancy. <laughs> Solo Nancy. <laughs> Nancy Trekker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And now for the grand finale, this stunning mirador overlooking the Toro Toro Canyon. The view is absolutely jaw-dropping. You can see the entire canyon stretch out before you with layers of rock and greenery painting the landscape. The cliff sides here are home to the rare red-fronted macaw and the majestic giant of the skies, the Andean condor. This place is amazing. <laughs>
So that's my adventure in Toro Toro National Park. It's a place that combines natural beauty, adventure, and ancient history in one unforgettable experience. If you're planning a trip to Bolivia, make sure to add this to your list. You won't regret it.